Hey everyone, it's Voss. I'm here with Tails, and you're not going to believe this. You can actually build out a Vega mining rig pretty easily now, and today we're going to show you how. If you research mining rigs, you'll know that Vegas are kings of their algorithm, which was Kryptonite and now Kryptonite V7. Thanks to Monero forking the ASIC miners off of their algorithm to showcase them as being the true ASIC resistant privacy coin. Will the others follow suit? Some of them have, and will the other algorithms come under attack soon by ASICs? Probably if they already aren't now. But anyway, another day, another video. Today we're gonna to talk about the Vega rig, which is crazy. It's actually pretty much a plug and play miner now, where before it has been a massive headache. You won't see a lot of Vega build videos. The reason being, by the time you're done setting up a Vega rig, the last thing you wanna do is make a video about it. It's a headache. It's annoying and quite honestly, it's painful until now. With the release of the recent adrenaline drivers, not only do you not have to have these old clunky beta blockchain drivers from last August, they required you to do a ton of ridiculous extra steps that left you with a mining rig that hashed pretty well. Sometimes, a rather unstable rig, even with everything done properly per you know the countless hours of research everyone else has done online and posted about. Tails is getting a little squirmy, so I went ahead and put her on the desk. It's crazy, best dog in the world. I'm telling you, I'm down here working on this all day and all she wants to do is hang out with me. Anyway, I won't go on and on about Tails today. She never fails. So back to the rig. I'm gonna break today's video down into some quick, easy steps. And pro probably tomorrow I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna create a full in-depth rig build guide and set up on this rig. But today's gonna be the quick, short version. So if you kinda know what you're doing, you'll be able to run with this. Step one, you're gonna to wanna to acquire the parts. We'll have a full parts list in the description of this video. If that's not good enough for you and you just wanna buy a pre-built plug and play Vega rig, well, <laughs> Vega's a headache, so it's not something I wanna get into, but Mining Cave is offering those plug and play miners from their site now. Again, we'll have a full rig build soon, but until then, check out some of our other rig build videos. It's gonna be pretty much the exact same thing, except we're using these cards, and then it's gonna get a little different. So what's next is you're gonna to need to load Windows. We don't have a Windows guide video yet, but again, it's something we're gonna work on. If you don't know how to load Windows, it's pretty easy. Basically, you just load it onto a USB, boot the USB, and it'll install Windows for you, and you wanna install it onto just say a basic small SSD, like 128 gigs is plenty. Once you do that, you're gonna download the latest adrenaline drivers. Again, not the blockchain drivers, but the adrenaline drivers. These are the ones you want. Once you have those installed, you're gonna download Cast XMR. This is a Kryptonite V7 miner built around Vegas. It's even in the title. If you wanna mine with Vegas, we should probably start with the miner built around Vegas, right? Otherwise, XMR Stack is a great miner if I had great success with it. I haven't tested it out on this exact setup yet because I'm trying to fine tune cast XMR. Right now, all I've got so far is a baseline. And on that baseline, again, this is keeping this super simple. So just to recap real quick, you got your parts, you built your rig, you installed Windows, you downloaded the latest drivers, and then from that AMD console, you'll go in here and you'll access the Wattman settings. From within Wattman is where we're gonna keep this tutorial very simple. And we're not even gonna change much today. We're gonna to be using a baseline, which still gets you a rig that is not the ideal settings, but very, very good compared to previous out-of-the-box Vega setups. With this setup, you're gonna be hashing 1850 hashes per Vega 56, stable, okay, stable. You'll learn, you'll be like, oh, this guy got 2,000. To get there, you're gonna need a little bit more work. And that's okay, that's what the next video is gonna be about. But all you need to do is bump your memory clock to 900. 900 is a stable number. Leave your power limit at zero. Leave everything else automatic. Then take your fan speed, bump up the minimum, and also the target, like shown. After that, you're gonna edit the bat file in cast XMR. These are the proper settings. You're gonna pick whatever pool you wanna to use. Today, we're using Mining Pool Hub because, well, always working on content, working on a video about their profit switching and auto exchange method and all that kind of stuff, so interesting. And it's gonna be useful if the tax laws stay the way they are because every crypto transaction is a taxable event, basically. And if you can lump that stuff into bigger chunks, you're gonna have a better time at the end of the year because, wow, what a headache taxes are right now. 
But again, I'm getting off topic here. You're gonna edit your bath file. Make sure you have the dash G function, okay? And you need to specify all the GPUs you have. So if you have six GPUs, it's zero comma one through five, like shown. If you don't have these set up, and I'll have it pasted in the description below, you're gonna have a bad time. That's really it. That's how easy it is to get a Vega rig up and running. Again, we're gonna have a full in-depth guide that's gonna have more material in it very soon. But this is the TLDR too long, did not read version. So if you wanna build out a Vega rig, I don't think these uh, card prices are gonna get cheaper here because when people realize, hey, a Vega rig is not impossible to build now. Well, here we go, off to the races. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna have an upcoming video on the Frontier as well. If you're like, well, does it work with the Frontier? Well, I can't spoil it, guys. Then you got, then you won't watch the video. So stay tuned with that. Make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel. I'm tired, man. It's been a long day. It's been a long week. It's been a long month, but you know what? We're still keeping the daily upload streak alive. Let me know what you thought about this video in the description below. If you think we should stick with mining Monero on it. If you think we should mine another coin, let us know below. Talk to us. Talk to us here. Thumbs up, comment, share the video, subscribe. We'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be holding you.